We're getting there, Mike. Just to where he's focused. Is that a camper? Yeah. Mary has survived her first airplane ride. Now, Linda. This is just focused. Yeah. Says the shuttle safe. Never Is it safe? I'd be here. Yeah, you're there. No rescue of the satellite is planned. Mine's just. <laughs> you got a chocolate boat too. Yep. I just courtesy of Triple A. Yeah. Okay, where is everybody? Is that his voice I hear? It's scary. And then it'll automatically go right on your visa. Here's my other souvenir. I got souvenirs done. Chocolate in the car. <laughs> oh! Hi, <laughs> dear! Hi, Bill! How's Kathy doing? I Does do my room look anything like yours? <laughs> Thank you. 
Gang down here, Kathy waving. Oh, 
ship and while we were gone our steward has folded our bed down and as you can see 
he has made our towels and chocolates into an animal. And has folded our beds back. He's really great. He cleans our room every day and picks up after us and does a great job. He stacked our shoes, picks up our luggage, cleans off our table.
We're moving already. Now we're moving. Are you? We're, we're going already. Yeah. Bouncing up the line of these boys and 
second. There goes one of the lion beam tie offs.
could do is go for like the 10.30 or 11. Isn't there a 10.30 or 11 o'clock at night meal or something? Maybe it's a Comfortable? <laughs> yeah, they said she could lay here for another week. Right under your little grass hut, huh? Make her walk. She's upset. <laughs> I'm so tired. I could go to bed, you guys. <laughs> you get going. Oh yeah. What a photo op. <laughs> Take your top down. And looking right good too, I might add. Yeah. Take the top down. And go over there. <laughs> so. Another top underneath it. So oh, is that going to be a beautiful picture? <laughs> get over there, Debbie. Come on, uh, Gary. <laughs> What is that flopping in the... Oh, that's just uh, one of those. The leaves, or the yeah. pods. Is this for your office, or This what? is it. Oh, you're looking great, yeah. <laughs> well... <laughs> this is one of the gardens well, that you make me came do that. to visit. Uh, you want me to get one of both of you over there? Sure. Yeah. Debbie, get back over there. I want to you anyway. make us both get over there. This is the 300 pound block of ice that they're getting ready to carve into a sculpture. The chef will come down and carve that for us. I need what you took pictures of. And what if this ice sculpture will be in this? Buffet. So make sure you go up and take photos of it. It's absolutely beautiful. The like little mouse set of apples and, and beautiful little palm trees that have like green peppers and carrots and stuff like that. It's great though. So make sure you don't miss that tonight. And you're gonna eat again. So you might as well go. More food. These ice carvers usually start their work back home as a wood carver and then it transforms into ice carvers. So these are how these guys got on the ships. His great 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 grandfather did this, his great great grandfather, his great great grandfather, his great grandfather, his grandfather, and now Ronaldo does this, so it kind of makes him a uh, chip off the old block. <laughs> he laughed, he liked it. Hey, can anyone guess what it's going to be? I'll let you all kind of uh, think on it, and um, first person who guesses can, can take it home with them. Well, lay out in your cabin in front with your luggage. Is it going to be a what? It's a swan. No, but it's just a block of ice right now. Not yet. So you guys just uh, think what it, what it might be. Um, I'll sit right here so the people can back behind me can uh, see. These blocks weigh about 200, 300 pounds. Um, and they last, and that's how they uh, transform their artwork into ice carving. So they stay on the ship for about a for well, a good long time, about a year at a time, down there in the ice carving dungeon. This um, block of ice has been specially frozen, and the process is called vacuum freezing. 
And uh, this is where they suck out all the air and the debris uh, during the freezing process. And it gives it mostly its clear appearance on the outside. And on the inside, you can see just a, like a thin little foggy kind of strip. But it really shows up the clarity when you use this type of process. When they, I carve, carve this thing. What is this thing? An ice block. And you can see good detail in it when it gets done. So that's the reason for the process. And also, you know like when you made that homemade ice cream at home and you put that, that salt that kept it cold? Same stuff in this. So don't be trying to grab this ice off here and put it in your cup of water. Keep it cold. It'll taste good. So it has that little salt stuff in there. So um, that way it lasts longer out in the room temperature. Yeah? I have no idea. What do you think it's going to be? What? I heard a... Heard a dolphin. A bunny? A bunny. A rabbit. Yeah, you can walk over in the corner right over here and take a little peek. Stand right in front of that pole, that way you won't get in anyone's way. Yeah. No guess, huh? No guess from the Burnett girl. Oh, just a reminder. Four o'clock. If you're interested about what goes on down the galley, how many hot dogs they make a day, how much meat they bring on board, blah blah blah, how they section off the galley, we're gonna have a galley. Tr huh? You give up? I have no clue. It's like a barrel with his arms up in the air. What? I a joke for you. You got a joke for me? Let's hear. Where does a snowman keep his money? In the snowbank. In the what? Snowbank. In the snowbank? Let's give it up for her. What's your name? Erica. And where are you from, Erica? Minnesota? Uh-uh. Where, where are you from? Where are you from in Minnesota? The cold part, right? I think we have rabbits. Rabbits, rabbits. Oh, don't, don't chip on my cord. What do you think it is, Erica? You don't know yet? Oops. And this is also just a reminder for, oops, I'm saying it in people's way. Just a reminder, this is so important for us. Please don't, don't not do this. Do this, do this, do this, I beg you. You're gonna get little comment cards in your cabins today. We just, if you do anything that's true, fill out that comment card because we don't know how we're doing unless you tell us. If someone went out of the way and did something special, like if you got your hair done in the salon, put that person's name, well, if you like the haircut, put that person's name down and let them know. All right? If your dining room staff did a great job and you remember your waiter's name, let them know. Um, cabin steward, anyone, any one of the dancers or anything. We need to know how we're doing, and we only know by you guys telling us. So if I leave you with one thought today, fill out that comment card. It is so important to us, because we want to go beyond your expectations. So, Statue of Liberty. No, I don't think it is. I can't tell what it is. It's a carrot? Oh, a rabbit holding a carrot. Oh, well. Uh, yesterday was American Day. Let's hear it for the Americans. Uh, what nationality day is it today? Anyone know? One honeymoon couple over there, if you could stay out long enough, we'd appreciate you if you'd go to that so we can make fun of you. <laughs> no, seriously, it's a fun, fun game show that we do and we pick on people and you guys can just sit and laugh and get in on the film. So that's the newly, not so newly wet game in the Blue Sapphire Lounge. Just before that, starting at two o'clock, we have our Granny and Honeymooners party with some free champagne. So, hey, if you want free champagne, here you go, Blue Sapphire Lounge. Yeah, you can go to the Granny party. It's a lot of fun. We have a good time doing that. So don't forget the newly wet, not so newly wet game. We still have two more bingo sessions tonight. Excellent show with your um, ecstasy dancers. 
Oba Oba, that's tonight. And then we have our guest talent show. This is where you guys are the stars, and that's at 1045. That is a packed house, standing room only. You will be amazed at some of the talent that is hiding out there in the world. But we get some... Randy, I'll never forget that name. Son dos conejos brazos. Yeah, these blue, yeah, Randy with the beard. Remember him? Did you film? Did you film that? What's your name? What does everybody call you? How many X's are in your name? No X's or is it C's? No C's. Why do they call you? I used to work on the imagination, and, and the cruise director on the imagination, John Heal, used to call me. So that's how I met him. That's all. I. That's the name I know. Here he is, your video diary man. Yeah, he's walking around the ship, making sure he catches you on film doing funny, silly things. They don't like you. You're embarrassing them. All day long on video, just goes over and over and over. Okay, are we getting closer. What is it? We're determined. It's a bunny, huh? With the carrot. Where's the? Oh, I'm with you. Okay. Oh, sorry, don't let me get in your way. My fault. And just right after this, we're going to have our hairy men's and women's hairy chest contest. No, I'm just kidding. Don't be saying that. That's why you don't have a bathing suit on, huh? You can go upstairs to Steiner's and they'll wax you. You need all the hair you can get to stay warm up there. But we're going to have our hairy men's ch chest contest and um, we're going to let the women come up here and get a cheap thrill and feel them and vote on them. Yeah. yeah. So after this, I need men with hair on their chest up here to the stage. Fun little activity. It doesn't take long, but it's a lot of laughs. I don't say anything. Just guys standing up here. Or if you just want to come up here and flex and show the girls how good you look, come on up. Speedos, ooh, Speedos. So don't forget that galley tour today if you want to go down and see some more of this. Looks good. Yeah, he'll take a, afterwards, you're more than welcome to come up and have a photo taken with him and Chess. So if you want to wait till it gets all the finishing touches. You can take a photo with him. I'm glad I put the microwave for that one. <laughs> Crazy people. Did you get a good picture? It's too loud. I'm going to go turn it down. Yeah, we think it's a bunny holding a carrot. I think we're pretty correct on that one. 
A giant carrot, life-size carrot. Could you eat a carrot that big? I can't draw at all. Huh? Oh, Hangman, I remember that game. Tic-tac-toe, I can make X's and O's. Hugs and kisses, did you know that's a sign for hugs and kisses? So when you write somebody a letter, you can put little X's and O's underneath your name and you can send hugs and kisses. You know if you send a stamp upside down on a letter, that's a kiss too? It is. What? Tell you tell everybody. Uh-oh, you got shy on me. <coughs> She's thinking. Okay, how old are you? Four. Four. You're a woman. You married? <coughs> no? That's good. You gonna, are you, is there a little boy you found on the ship that you like? It's Landon. <coughs> what? Landon. Landon? That's the name of the boy? Is he out or still in the pool? Oh, 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 he's your little brother. Where's your little brother? He's at home? Like home, home, Minnesota? You left him at home? Erica, you forgot to bring your brother. at home. You don't know where he is? Where? At Jody's. <laughs> Who's Jody? Is it your aunt or your grandma? Aunt. Aunt. And does your aunt live in Minnesota too? Uh -uh. Yes. She does. Yes, let's give it up for him. Nice round of applause. Excellent work. Extremely talented. And like I said, you guys, they work like 18, 20 hour days. He's coming out here on just time off. So give it up for him because we appreciate him coming out here. Because you hate to see the ice cream in my day. Excellent. And it's a bunny.